Great to have you with us. We are set to get you over the hump this Wednesday night with another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Toronto Raptors as they play against the Washington Wizards at Capital One Arena. Hi, everybody. This is Brian Anderson. And with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. Well, last season, Fred Van Vliet signed the biggest contract in NBA history for an undrafted free agent. And he went on to set more records. His 54-point game, the most ever by an undrafted player, and the most ever by a Raptors player. His mantra has been, bet on yourself. And guys, it sure is paying off. That it is, Allie. I like that. Now let's take a look at Toronto's starting lineup. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. Barnes is out there with Precious Achua. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward position. And for the Wizards, Dinwiddie and Beal comprise the backcourt. Contavious Caldwell-Pope out there with Kyle Kuzma. And it's Harrell in at center. Well, we've got some hot starts and some ugly starts early in the season. Grant, how long should teams wait before worrying about their record? Well, it's simple, B.A. If you have a bad record, you should always be worried. <laughs> but most GMs don't think about making changes until about the halfway mark. It'll be the Raptors off the tip. Beal against Trent. Van Vliet up top. Just four to shoot. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Kuzma against Achua. Pass to Dinwiddie. Kuzma with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Dinwiddie. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal and talk about foul. a signing that went first under the radar. Spencer Dinwiddie joining this Washington. Wizards ball club. Spencer now, he steps Dinwiddie. in as a vet guard to lead Take this young team. And I'm excited to see what Dinwiddie can do as a team leader. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Dinwiddie. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Dinwiddie against Van Vliet. Outside Ananobi. Pass to Achua. Trent outside. Here's Barnes. Defended by Kuzma. Rebounded by Kuzma. Beal outside. Kuzma with a screen on Trent. Beal with it. Now guarded by Achua. Beal shot is off. Trent on the wing. Hounded by Beal. Pass to Barnes. Van Vliet on the wing. Back to Barnes. To the inside. And there's Van Vliet on the assist by Barnes. What a fearless competitor Van Vliet is. Figures out ways to score inside while being covered. Beal the pass to Dinwiddie. Harrell, a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Dinwiddie. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee! So it's Toronto now, following the bucket by the Wizards. Six to shoot. Achua with a screen on Dinwiddie. Inside. Achua with that the dunk. Achua. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. 
here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Harrell, a screen on Van Vliet. Back to Harrell. Achua with a steal. Trent from long range. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. He's heady. He's unselfish. All Van Vliet does is make winning plays. Kuzma with a screen on Trent. Beal with it. Now guarded by Achua. On the wing, Kuzma takes a three. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harold. And it's the 2K leaderboard. Team leaders in blocks last season. Fourth, Toronto. Now we all know they didn't allow any easy buckets last season. I mean, their defense was tremendous. And the rim protection was just outstanding. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Achua with a screen. Trent against Beal. Offensive rebound. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Dinwiddie outside. Harrell, a screen on Van Vliet. Dinwiddie. And the layup is good off the glass. Dinwiddie's got six. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here's Van Vliet. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. And Toronto calls time here. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. It always helps when your opponent turns the ball over that many times. I thought it was the deciding factor overall. There were some unforced errors, but they also created some mistakes through their intensity on both ends. Washington, a big group substitution here for Toronto. Birch, he's checked in for Achua. Boucher comes in for Barnes. Flynn, he's checked in for Trent. And Drogic has subbed in for Van Vliet. Now here's Drogic. There's the steal. Here's Kispert. Pass to Holiday. Here's Bertans. Hachimura outside, five on the clock. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Dragic with it, and it's Bertans picking him up. Boucher, no good for Washington. They've gone two of four so far. And here's Holiday. Pass to Avdia. Let's the three fly. No good there. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. Their last encounter in Toronto. Today's game is about effort and energy. They got crushed on the glass the last time these teams played. If you don't have that one guy who gets you 10 plus boards every night, you just have to send more guys to the glass. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. And even though his offense continues to develop, Grant, Ananobi's defense may be his most important contribution to this team. He has what I call positional versatility. He has great length, and he's light on his feet. He doesn't have to gamble to be disruptive. And just wasn't able to set up in time. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. We've got 108 left in the first quarter here. Snatched up. And that one's good. Flynn. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now here's Hachimura. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Hachimura with a screen on Dragic. Shot clock at six. Oh, rejected by Boucher. Here's Flynn. Pass to Dragic. That's something you hate. We're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of that. Shooting for Toronto. 
Goran Prague taking two shots. Makes a first. A rare bad trade by the San Antonio Spurs. Dragic was their second round pick in 2008. They traded his rights to the Suns for a player who didn't even make the roster. And he makes both free throws. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Bertans with a screen on Dragic. Holiday passes to Bertans. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Oh, what tremendous Dave, focus his to back. absorb the contact and Ten find a way first. there to finish. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Wizards. Davis Bertans. Shooting one. 17 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Holiday against Dragic. Birch with a screen on Holiday. Here's Dragic. And that concludes the first quarter play. Raptors out in front. They lead by four. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. school whoever recruited me first basketball football is what we stuck with so it was basketball i like that system grant pretty simple supply and demand <laughs> that's right give the people what they want and i'd say he found his calling and thanks again for tuning in if you're just joining us we played through one quarter of action so far and from what we've seen from the Raptors, what's your take so far? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. Dinwiddie and Beal comprise the backcourt. Montrez Harrell is out there with Rui Achimura. And it's Kuzma in at the three slot. That's the group for Washington right now. And the Wizards making a change here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. Now here's Trent. Pass to Van Vliet. Now Barnes, defended by Kuzma. Barnes, no good. Washington trailing. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, just about every discussion of the NBA trade market comes back to the Washington Wizards. An all-star shooting guard Bradley Beal on a team that hasn't made the playoffs in three seasons, something's got to give. And guys with Beal possessing an opt-out after the season, expect those talks to intensify. Yeah, that's a good point. Van Vliet excels at breaking down defenses with his passing. Quarter number two with just over a minute of play. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Dinwiddie with a screen on Trent. Here's Caldwell Pope. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. And a veteran guard who helps set the tone defensively. KCP brings that energy and toughness on a nightly basis. He does, B.A., and he doesn't need the ball in his hands to impact a game. He'll go out and smother those opposing guards. Just three to shoot. Trent from long range. Rebounded by Kuzma. The Wizards have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Dinwiddie against Van Vliet. Tips. Got a piece of it. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Barnes against Harrell. Unloads from 13. Barnes, no good. Well, this is where he's inconsistent, and that can slow down your team's momentum. 
Hi guys, the head athletic trainer for Washington provided some info for us. It appears that it's a severe migraine headache. Not just pain, but it's also impacting vision and making it very hard to play. A return has not been ruled out yet. We'll see what the training staff and coaches end up deciding. Guys? All right, Allie, thanks. Good stuff there. Sounds like they're going to keep giving him Gatorade, and we'll hope to see him back soon. Now here's Van Vliet in the game against New York. Very impressive. Trent left side. Boucher on the screen. Harrell against Trent. Pass to Van Vliet. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Barnes, no good. And for Washington, they're shooting 27% in today's game. Not good. Here's Denwitty. And too long on the shot. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Harrell, a screen on Trent. Denwitty with it. Now guarded by Achua. And it's rejected. And as it goes out of bounds, Washington able to keep possession. Now a timeout called by Washington. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. Yeah, they know they should have played better in that one. I'm not quite sure what happened. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out is what went wrong. Now here's Holiday. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Out of bounds. Wizards ball as Washington keeps possession. And the Raptors making a change here. Flynn's checked in. Well, the pace of the game has picked up over the years. Grant, you played on teams that played all styles. Did you sense the direction the game was going in? Yeah, towards the end of my career, B.A., you could see that the up-tempo teams got more and more successful. So it was inevitable that other teams would follow suit. As we know, trends catch on fast and quick in the NBA. Hey, one heck of a crossover there. His first step is unreal. Goran Dragic is an excellent penetrator. And Washington with possession. Their defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. Here's Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's Flynn. After the basket by Washington. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the second quarter. Now here's Bertans. Tight defense on him. The shot by Holiday, no good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Dragic against Holiday. Birch with a screen on Holiday. Pass to Birch. And Birch slams it in. Beautiful vision to find the open man. Gorn leading by example. And here's Holiday. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Beal with it. He's picked up by Barnes. It's Abdiya on the wing. Harrell the screen. Holiday against Dragic. Here's Birch. That shot is off. Good D by Harold. Washington shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. Pass to Bertans. Harold down low. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Dragic passes to Birch. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Beal outside. And so it's Toronto, the finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We'll be right back with you shortly.
Welcome. First up, let's look at the two guys who... And to see these two shouldering the burden, carrying their teams, almost makes your back sore, huh, Shaq? No, stop it. Might have to get him some of that icy hot. Man up. <laughs> you might just... Uh, couldn't hurt. And now let's take a look at our featured game tonight. At the half, an advantage for the Raptors. They're getting a lot out of their bench. A lot. For the most part, opponents' game plan is to take away the starters. But then, when your second unit comes in and plays with this type of intensity and torches the Nets, you've created a whole new problem for the other team. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. you can join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Nice game. Solid performance by Kim Birch. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. So for Toronto right now, Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. Barnes is out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Achua in at the five. Barnes passes to Van Vliet. Achua with a screen on Beal. Van Vliet outside. Six on the shot clock. Trent outside. Fires the three. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got four assists in the game. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's got six. Kuzma with a screen on Van Vliet. Dinwiddie with it. And it's Ananobi picking him up. Beal, no good. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. What I admire about Bradley Beal is his steady growth. Not just in his overall game, but how he's embraced becoming a leader. He's someone his teammates really look up to. Now here's Barnes. They lead by 11. Largest margin of the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. From the left block, Harrell. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Dinwiddie against Trent. Dinwiddie on the attack. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got six rebounds now in the game. Boy, Beal's rise continues to impress. Every season, Grant, he improves as a scorer, especially. And the older he gets, the more wisdom he attains. Both on and off the court, his guys expect him to lead the charge. It's something that he takes great pride in. And so it's Washington with it. The Raptors making their last shot. Here's Beal. Deflected! And they'll keep possession. Barnes against Kuzma. Shoots over Barnes. The Wizards with another miss. And that's a foul called on Montrez Harrell. That's his first personal foul. That's his first foul of the game. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Hachimura has checked in for Washington. Kispert comes in for Bradley Beal. The Raptors also with a sub. Boucher's checked in. The Raptors have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Ooh, ripped away! Here's Caldwell Pope, covered by Boucher. Pass to Dinwiddie. And there's the screen. Looking to end the drought. Toronto grabs the miss. Now Ananobi. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Van Vliet, the pass to Ananobi. Here's Boucher. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. And the Raptors lead by 15. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. 
Dinwiddie against Van Vliet. Pass to Kispert. Hachimura with a screen on Ananobi. Here's Caldwell Pope. Offline with a three. Trent with it. Van Vliet outside. It's deflected. Tries yet again. And Achua with a lay in. Achua's got six. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. It's time for T-shirts. All right, coming on to the court, makes the noise. Chris York, Wizards, and Sir. Washington making some changes. Bertans checked in for Kuzma. Avdia comes in for Caldwell Pope. And Holiday subbed in for Dinwiddie. Now here's Holiday. Looking for his first basket still in this one. They set the screen. Here's Avdia, defended by Dragic. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. And it's Hachimura missing. Here's Serrano with the ball. They're rolling here. Nine unanswered. Ananobi with it. And it's Bertans picking him up. Holiday against Dragic. And there's the drive. Laid it in with a nice oh, touch off the window. Dragic has got his second basket of the night. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Pass to Kispert. Bertans against Birch. Here's Hachimura. Oh, good D by Boucher. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Outside Ananobi. Bertans against Dragic. Rebounded by Bertans. Washington has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. 36 seconds left to play in the third. Outside Holiday. Hachimura with a screen on Birch. Here's Holiday. It's Avdia on the wing. And again, Washington, no good. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Holiday against Dragic. So it's the Toronto Raptors up 19 points as the quarter comes to a close. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Dinwiddie and Beal comprise the backcourt. Davis Bertans is out there with Montrez Harrell. And it's Kuzma in at the three, the small forward. That's the five on the floor for the Wizards. Birch finds Dragic. Now Barnes. Here's Birch. Another shot. And it's good on the layup. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Denwitty. No good. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. And there's the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. And there's the call on Kim Birch. That's foul number two for him. He didn't have his feet planted. Caldwell Pope's checked in for Bertans. For your wizard. 
Cantavius Caldwell Pope. On defense, the Raptors. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Coaching turnover is a fact of life in the NBA. Grant, as a player, how tough is it to adapt to a new coach? Well, it depends on the timing. I mean, an off-season change gives the team a time to get used to a new system. Now, if it happens in mid-season, it can be a little tough. The learning curve is definitely steep. Trent, he's checked in for Toronto. Dinwiddie finds Kuzma. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got rebound number eight now. Trent outside. To the paint. And it's Birch missing. Here's Washington now. Their next game playing at home as the Grizzlies come to town. It'll be the second of three straight games on their home floor. Looking to end this cold spell. And he gets it to go. This position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. Pass to Van Vliet. And he comes up with a bucket. Van Vliet. Wizards have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Beal with it. Now guarded by Achua. Beal's shot is off. For Toronto, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Trent against Beal. From deep three-point range, Trent's shot is off. Beal outside. Denwitty against Van Vliet. Beal with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Denwitty. And it's flushed down. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Here's Van Vliet. The Wizards making their last shot. Pass to Barnes. Shot comes out. Oh, great D that time from Harold. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. The Raptors shooting 41% on this game. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's Van Vliet. Here's Birch. And the Raptors miss again. And so it's Washington with it. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Beal, the pass to Dinwiddie. Beal with a screen on Trent. Dinwiddie goes in. Pass to Caldwell Pope. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. The 11-footer. That went off the back iron and out. A difficult situation for Washington. Takes a step back. Dinwiddie passes to Beal. Dinwiddie with a screen on Trent. Beal with it. Now guarded by Achua. Beal shot is off. Pass to Barnes. Two minutes. And Two counted from 12 feet. The fourth quarter. And the Raptors lead by 21. Woo! How sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Timeout. Take a look at the New Balance player of the Into game, the Precious the Achua. Hey, <laughs> guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Now here's Bertans. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's Avdia. Clock at six. And here's Kispert from the arc. And it's Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got seven rebounds in the game. Now here's Trent. Defense right on him. Washington with a rebound. 
And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Raptors. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams Chris meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And with this win, they've tallied up a total of six wins on the year. Washington has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Holiday passes to Bertans. Here's Kispert. That shot off. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Boucher outside. Back to Flynn. Boucher outside. Trent on the wing. Pulls it from 20. Gets a hand on it. Great positioning on the putback. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Here's Kispert. So no problem for Toronto as they get the win. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.